Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video you're going to have to the latest from the live radar run for the weather warnings as we have got multiple rain warnings issued over the next few days as we are going to see some torrential rain and thunderstorms for parts of southern England. It could be an absolute deluge in places and it really could be pretty horrible indeed. It is a bit of a role reversal from what we kind of expect in this country, where northern areas are generally wetter, southern areas drier. We're actually going to see the complete opposite. It's going to be very wet and cool in the far south. It's going to be actually quite a bit warmer and drier further northwards with some summery conditions at times. And the reason for this is a cut-off area of low pressure that we have banged on about quite a lot over the past few days and uh, numerous times over the summer, uh, as it can be quite a big feature for horrible conditions. Uh, and it is going to really bring some pretty torrential rain over the coming days. We'll look at the latest UKV and the uh, Arone runs as well uh, to cover that in detail. As we head into the longer range, uh, we have got a lot of, as I said, muggy air around with that cut-off low drawing up a southeasterly wind. But as we head into next week, low pressure looks like it could be coming from the north or the northwest. So it could be turning more unsettled for all, even for northern areas, and turning cooler as well with air coming in from the North Atlantic. There are lots of kind of various options at this stage. A more direct northerly could bring in some pretty cold air, more of a moderated northwesterly or westerly will bring in cool air, but nothing too crazy. We'll have to wait and see the exact details for that, but that looks like a pretty concrete idea for next week uh, at this stage. So do remember, if you enjoy the videos, which you like and subscribe, and remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Now, if you start on the live radar, I'm calling this around 9pm on Wednesday evening, and you can see nothing too much is going on today. We've got a few heavy showers around through this evening, but nothing too crazy. But if we do zoom out, you can see some large areas of rain across parts of France uh, down towards the Alps. Now, this is this big clump of very heavy torrential rain with some embedded thunderstorms that is heading our way. The low pressure system at the moment is sat towards the Bay of Biscay and it is spiraling and slowly heading northwards. As it does, the isobars squeeze together and we actually draw very warm air in from Central and Eastern Europe, but we also drag up this very heavy rain as well for southern areas. There is a lot of uncertainty exactly how far inland and how far eastwards this rain will come, but it could be torrential through Thursday for some areas. And it doesn't look like it's going to be one batch of precipitation. We could see multiple batches of heavy, thundery showers through much of the rest of Thursday, Thursday afternoon, evening, Friday, and even into Saturday as the cutoff low just sits there, spiraling around, continuing to import these thunderstorms and heavy batches of rain through the next few days. Again, we'll look at the latest UKV and our own runs, which will show that in a lot of detail in a few moments time. Now do put on the temperatures this evening, you can see nothing too much is going on. Uh, it's around average, it's feeling pretty fresh today, but not I wouldn't say particularly cold. But as I said, that easterly wind is dragging in all this warm, hot, humid air out to our east, where across parts of eastern Germany, Poland, Hungary, and generally eastern Europe, temperatures are still around the high 20s, and it's close to midnight in these regions, and that is the warm air that is heading our way. Again, it's not going to be anywhere near that hot, but we could get 27 or 28 during the peak hours of the afternoon through Friday as that air does embed itself in. Now, do go over to the weather warnings now and have a look at uh, the weather warnings over the coming days. We've got three days of weather warnings, including this evening. We've got this rain warning covering most of southern England and South Wales. It actually has just come into force at 9 p.m. and it expires at 11.45 tomorrow. Now, we aren't actually seeing too much heavy rain at the moment, but over the next couple of hours, it will start to ramp up. I think it's issued this early just because there is uncertainty about the exact timings. But now we're here. We can definitely say that the rain most likely will arrive probably beyond midnight. So the next few hours, if you are watching this on Wednesday evening, won't be too bad. But Thursday morning, 
torrential rain for many. You can see some parts may miss the worst, but heavy rain becomes more extensive through Wednesday night, and especially Thursday with some flooding impacts. Not all areas will be affected, but scattered heavy showers on Wednesday night are expected to merge into longer spells of heavy, perhaps thundery rain overnight and through Thursday. You can see 20 to 40 millimeters are possible within an hour or two, and maybe even 50 to 60 millimeters over a longer period of time, and maybe even up to 80 to 100 millimeters. That's around three or four inches of rain. And you can see if repeated batches of heavy rain affect the same location, uh, that could give those totals. This perhaps will be more likely during the second half of Thursday. Again, it's medium impacts, low likelihood, and I do think that is just because there is a lot of uncertainty over the positioning of the precipitation. Not all areas are going to see the torrential rain. Some areas will see some lighter rain. But where it does set up, it could be really quite horrible indeed. Now, as we head into Thursday, same warning issued until 11.45, and then on Friday, a new warning issued, and it comes in 15 minutes later at midnight on Thursday night, all the way through to midnight on Friday night. So, yes, there's a 15-minute window where we don't have a warning in force, but pretty much for southern England and south Wales, we have weather warnings for rain issued for the next sort of 48 hours um, non-stop. You can see heavy rain may lead to some more travel disruption and flooding across southern England and southern Wales during Friday. Again, 15 to 30 millimetres, expected widely, 40 to 60 millimetres through the whole of Friday, with some areas seeing 75 to 100 millimetres. So, and you can see it follows on from an exceptionally wet day on Thursday, and that will increase the likelihood of impacts. And there is also the potential for further spells of rain over the weekend, but I think it's too far away for warnings to be issued at this stage. You can see again, medium impact and low likelihood. Considering how tomorrow's rain, Thursday's rain goes, I wouldn't be surprised if an amber warning actually got issued if the areas that are lining up for the heaviest rain do kind of line up across Thursday and Friday. If the rain bands move around a bit, it does spread that torrential rain around and probably yellow warning is sufficient. But if we do see banding, and we do see some of this torrential rain sit on one spot or one area over many hours or even days, then I do think we could see an escalation in these warnings. Again, we've done a lot of talking, a lot of showing these warnings, but the best way to view this is to look at those raw precipitation charts. Now, two starts on the latest UKV. As we head through this evening, not too much going on. A few heavy showers around, but really after midnight, still doesn't look like too bad of an evening. But just watch that bottom right corner. We are going to start to see the northern tip of that heavy band of rain across France. It slowly edges in around 5, 6 a.m., and it could be torrential as it moves in. Now you can see here some of the heaviest stuff from the UKV stays out in the channel. But again, as we know, very small differences and changes in the positioning could make a whole host of difference to the intensities. So here, the heaviest rain is actually really across southwest England and the far south coast. Much further north than that, not seen too much at all through Thursday. But as we look at the Euron run in a minute, it has it about 50 miles further northwards, which means that many more areas see the torrential rain. Now, as we head through Thursday evening, that rain eventually moves away and does look like southwest England will get smashed by this. Again, the further east or further northwards, other areas would see that heavy rain. We're going to have to really wait and see for a now cast situation anywhere in the yellow warning zone, I'd say, is at risk. Uh, the UKV, though, is slightly further south and westwards than some other runs are showing. As we head through Thursday night, it dies down, not too much going on. A few hefty showers along the far south coast that could form into another longer spell of rain through Friday morning, again, mainly impacting southern and western areas. So the theme I'm seeing here is the UKV has that centre of low, that cut-off low, slightly further southwards than it could be considering other runs. Of course, the Met Office have to cover all the spectrum. So of course, they've seen a lot more runs and they've issued these warnings slightly further northward. So I think the indication is that this latest UKV is one of the more southerly tracking um, runs with that cutoff low. So do uh, definitely look at this and think that this rain could be 50, 100 miles further northwards. As we head through Friday morning, that rain eventually slowly clears and then what do we see? Some more lighter rain through the afternoon. Not too crazy, but could really pep up again across southwest England. And then as we head into the weekend, 
we could see further torrential rain more through Saturday evening. And what we see here is the cutoff low actually moving northwards again and sat directly over the top of us. And what that means is this heavy thundery rain just spirals. It goes in circles throughout the rest of Sunday. And we see lots of heavy stationary thunderstorms all the way into Monday. The best way to view this is put on the mean sea level pressure. You can see the low sat to our south through Friday, but as we head into Saturday, it heads northwards. It's this little purple area to our south. It heads northwards, and you can see by Sunday afternoon, it is sat directly over the top of us, and that continues all the way into Monday. And you can see the severity that could be associated with it is look at the Cape levels. They're really quite high through Sunday. And you can see it follows the center of that low. So we could see some really quite intense conditions here if this did come off. Really quite a severe run this. Uh, again, you can see it is mainly showery thunderstorms, but the possibility of further issues on top of all the heavy rain through Thursday and Friday could be there as well. Uh, and yeah, you can see that spiraling around the center of the low all the way through to Monday for eventually dissipating away. But we have focused on southern England. Further northwards is actually going to be pretty nice. If we put on the upper air temperatures, you can see over the next 24 hours, very warm air is arriving around the 17 or 18 degree isophone, which actually is very hot air. Now, for southern areas, it fuels the showers, fuels the storms and the rain as it's very humid, a lot of moisture, bringing very heavy rain. But further northwards, under higher pressure and dry conditions, it's actually going to be very warm, if not hot, through much of Friday into Saturday, and then slowly dissipating away through towards Monday before eventually we see northwesterly winds arriving. And that will do a great deal for those two meter temperatures. As we head through Thursday, nothing too special as the hot air hasn't fully arrived yet, but could see 2021, and we'll probably get muggier throughout the day. As we head into Friday, though, those temperatures will balloon, and you can see by the mid-afternoon across much of the Midlands and maybe even southern England to the north of that rain where we do see a good mixture of very hot air and sunshine 26 or 27 and for large portions of northern England, Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland and even up towards the far north of Scotland we're seeing low 20s which is very warm for the early part of September. Now, inevitably, into Saturday, it will cool down, but still could be lit, uh, low to mid-20s and widely high teens, to low 20s with lots of sunshine further northwards. And if we move into Sunday, a similar story, still cooling down by a degree or two. Again, it's inevitable with these air masses running out of steam, but still very pleasant all the way towards Monday before eventually it starts to turn cooler with more rain coming in from the northwest by Monday. So yes, very severe, potentially torrential rain coming in, for much of southern England, maybe South Wales, over the next sort of three or four days. But to the north of that rain, uh, especially in the next couple of days, it's going to be beautiful sunshine, going to be very dry, very warm and muggy. Thunderstorms could become more extensive over the weekend, but again, we'll update that over the next couple of days. Now, if you also compare to the Arome run, again, this only looks in the next 36 hours or so, uh, but again, it gives us a good idea. A few hefty showers overnight tonight, then that really heavy rain spreads in through tomorrow morning, and you can see the northern extent of it is much further northwards. It's not just clipping southwest England, this gets into South Wales, central southern England, and we see further extents of heavy showers and thunderstorms into London, even up towards East Anglia by Thursday afternoon, and it continues progressing slowly westwards through the evening, and then there could be further thunderstorms into Friday morning, and you can see increased levels of Cape there as well. So your Rome run is probably 50 to 100 miles further northwards, and again, that just means that we could see more of that extensive rain towards London, and even to the north of London, whereas the UKV didn't really touch those areas much at all. Just shows you the uncertainty we have, even at this time frame. Uh, but again, just highlights that the risk is there for some quite extensive torrential rain tomorrow. It is going to happen, it's just where does it occur and how widespread. Now, of course, we focus on the short range quite a lot, but many of you, uh, if, especially uh, if you've got plans next week, will be wanting to know what's going to be happening into next week. And now, unfortunately, it does look like it's going to stay unsettled or even turn more unsettled, but it is going to turn cooler. You can see that cut of low sat to our south over the coming days. Doesn't look like a massive feature, but as I said, at the surface, it's going to have some pretty severe consequences. 
into next week, though, that cutoff low exits out into Europe. And we unlock the Atlantic again. And look at this, a pretty hefty low comes in from the northwest and does kind of sit over the top of us, similar to the cutoff low. But it is from a northerly or northwesterly direction. So instead of having very warm air wrapped in around it, like we've got the low over the coming days, it's actually got much fresher Atlantic air wrapped in it. And you can see that if we put on the two, uh, the 800 HPA temperature deviations, a lot more blues mixing in in that longer range. You can see it's all coming in from northwest and westerly direction. So again, it's not cold, but it is just cooler than it has been recently. And temperatures will probably be mid to maybe low teens at best. So much cooler and much more intense for all into next week. If you compare to the GM, again, that cut of low sat to our south over the coming days. Uh, eventually, northwesterly winds come in, and again, this low dives southwards and does get cut off from the main flow. So, technically, again, becomes a bit of a cut off low, but it hasn't got as much warm air wrapped in within it. It's actually pretty cold initially, so we are likely to have less intense rain because we haven't got that humidity, but it still will be cool and still be pretty horrible for many. If we put on the two meter temperatures, it is cool initially. Then the temperatures do recover a bit, and again, that's inevitable with uh, heading into more of the mid latitudes. But again, we'll have to wait and see. But similar picture to the GFS, turning cooler and turning more unsettled. If you look at the ECMWF to finish off, again, very similar. That low exiting out of Greenland, really quite strong northwesterly or northerly wind. And again, it doesn't become cut off. It actually remains in the main flow, and it just continues to pull in cool, unsettled conditions in off the North Atlantic, a pretty typical, if we're being honest, autumnal pattern. And if you view this on the latest ensembles, you can see very warm air over the next few hour, uh, next few days, sorry, lots of precipitation for London. But if you actually look at Exeter, you can see it's even higher. So southwestern areas are probably going to see the worst of the rain, could dip further northwards as well. Uh, but I do think um, those far southern and southwestern regions will get hammered the most maybe areas like london could see the most severe thunderstorms again being in land more convection taking place land-based convection but further south and westwards we're more likely to see that persistent torrential rain with those thunderstorm remnants and areas of just generally heavy rain coming in off the near continents you can see though into next week it does turn slightly drier for a time but does turn much cooler and then the precipitation picks up once again as we go from around 15 degree upper air temperatures in the next sort of 24 hours down to perhaps two or three degrees come next week so turning from very warm summery conditions to more autumnal conditions uh, and it does recover in the longer term but no signs of any big warm-up once again and finally if we compare to the ecmwf just to finish off the video again broadly very similar very warm conditions over the next few days lots of precipitation around and then a big dip in those upper temperatures keeping pretty unsettled uh, for london so you can see for southern areas it's remaining unsettled for the foreseeable future lots of rain around but it is turning from much warmer unsettled pattern to a much cooler unsettled pattern giving the same sort of rain at the surface but just doing it in a different way and i do uh, i'm very interested to see what extra is showing here again lots of heavy rain torrential rain and you can see if we look on the right hand side on the y-axis we are looking from the majority on some members seeing 10 to 20 millimeters at least over the next couple of days and again these runs are pessimistic because they're ensembles they're not particularly high resolution and sometimes don't deal with very high precipitation convection all too well so we could see even higher than this but then we just finish by broadly comparing it to Glasgow, and look at that. The next three or four days, you could argue there'll be zero rainfall at all, and upper air temperatures 10 degrees above average. So if you're watching this in Northern England, in Scotland, or even the Midlands, you've got a stunning next few days coming up. So you can ignore the thumbnail, ignore the title of the video. It is going to be very beautiful and summery for you. But for those in the South, those across Wales, those in London, where I know there are a lot of viewers, it is probably going to be pretty horrible indeed so make sure you get your raincoats out your umbrellas out and maybe make some alternate plants if you have got uh, ideas over the next few days because it could be pretty horrible indeed as we do have, of course have those yellow warnings in force so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you're around northern areas enjoy your summery conditions the extension to summer if you're in southern areas do stay safe as we are going to see lots of rain and potentially some really tight torrential horrible conditions out there at times so, so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon.